Silent films contain some of the most insane stunts you'll ever see. Though the era is often overlooked by contemporary audiences, it was an era of remarkable ingenuity, complete with astoundingly innovative practical effects and astoundingly dangerous physical stunts. These days, CGI is king. And while CGI, of course, can be done and has been done in a way that enhances a film's story while simultaneously advancing the art of cinema, CGI and the use of computers in post-production in general has also become a bit of an overused crutch. Back in the silent film era, special effects had to be practical effects, a special effect produced physically without computer-generated imagery or other post-production techniques because computers didn't exist and neither did Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. A perfect example of practical effects innovation in the silent film era is this scene from Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. In the scene, though Chaplin is seemingly just a breath away from falling to his doom whilst on roller skates, in actuality, he was in no danger at all, as this shot was accomplished by using a picture of the set painted on glass, which was placed in front of the camera tricking our eyes and playing with perspective. Take a look. In a way, it sort of makes the scene even better knowing that this level of ingenuity and precision went into it. Though Chaplin was in no danger of dying while filming that particular scene, the same can't be said for Buster Keaton while filming this particular scene where the front of a house falls on him. For real. No gimmicks. No tricks. Not even a stunt double. Though filmmakers in the era were able to make remarkable strides in practical special effect abilities, nothing replaced a good old-fashioned stunt. Silent movie comedy was essentially slapstick comedy. The funniest thing to audiences of the day was people slipping on banana peels, falling from moving cars, dangling off of rooftops, and in general, they like to see people get hurt, or nearly get hurt. What's interesting is, though it's much derided for being sophomoric and quote unquote stupid, silent film era comedy was not unlike Jackass. And like Jackass, the stunts that were pulled off during the silent era were the result of careful planning, body control, and nerves of steel. Buster Keaton, who grew up playing a character called the little boy who couldn't be damaged in a family vaudeville act was, by any measure, the uncrowned king of silent comedy stunts. Though stunt doubles and safety measures started to become more commonplace in the 1920s, Keaton claimed that he never refused a stunt, no matter how dangerous it was, and no matter how big of a star he was. In fact, Buster Keaton actually used to double for other actors when they needed to take a fall and didn't want to. In this scene in 1928, Steamboat Bill Jr., after being blown around by a cyclone, which was achieved via practical effects, Buster Keaton stops in the middle of a street to catch his breath, and while he stands there frozen, the front wall of the two-story house behind him crashes down right on top of him. But of course, the hilarious joke is that he's unharmed. His body and life are spared certain death because he was lined up perfectly with an open window frame. Again, none of this was a trick. The 4,000 pound facade of the house was on a hinge, and Keaton drove a nail in the ground to mark his position. The window was just big enough to give him two inches of clearance on either side, which two inches is really just one nervous jitter away from certain doom. While filming the scene, there are reports that the cameraman turned away. He just couldn't bear to watch if things happened to go south, which again, if anything went wrong, if anything was two inches off, well, that would have meant certain death for one of the biggest stars in the world. In general, though it's either overlooked or ignored entirely by mainstream audiences as some obsolete, ancient relic, the silent comedy era was one of the most exciting eras of cinema that we still feel the impacts of today. It moved movie making forward by leaps and bounds with advancements in practical effects, and the very real, death-defying stunts pulled off on screen by Buster Keaton and others will perhaps never be matched. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of history's weirdness that you won't find in your textbooks. All those textbooks that you had to give back. No one has their textbooks anymore, right? I don't have mine. Anyway, there's this video here. There's this one here. There's more stuff here. There's more good stuff. If you liked it, stick around.